once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is the second video of today, apparently. Another news video and yeah, unedited. Just wanted to get this out really quick as I prepare and pack my bags to go somewhere. Huh. Anyway, this is some really cool information. Jazzware just dropped this brand new reveal for the SDCC 2023 Neon Superfly Warthog and it looks so good. Like the packaging is so insane on this thing. And yes, this is not the news you were originally expecting yesterday and as that continues to be a little bit delayed, we've got more and more fun news to give you on the side while you wait because believe me, once this news that I was meant to reveal yesterday drops, it's gonna change everything. But anyway, SDCC Neon Superfly Warthog with a very suspicious looking digital download code for Halo Infinite. I have no idea what that might be. And we gotta reflect quickly on what they did last year. Now, I thought they couldn't top the packaging of the last one. This was already insane, but this is so much cooler in every way. And last year's was just a basic repackage, right? Like it was the Master Chief and the weapon. It's one of my favorite figures and it was a quick little repackage. But this one takes it to a whole new level. Look at this, like, here's the thing. You could have just made a warthog, right? But to do this and this much effort, I love it. I cannot wait. I really hope I can review one of these things. They look insane. And yeah, I, you know, we've been following Jazzware World of Halo Spartan Collection for quite a long time. It's also quite cool that they did a Spartan Collection um, figure last year, and now they're doing a World of Halo this year. And yeah, we've followed them for a long time. I've always been a huge Jazzware fan. I mean, not always like a diehard, but like I've, I've started collecting so many of them. There's another one on my desk here, the Spartan Jerome. This is now worth quite a lot. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm collecting them all the time. Uh, I think they're phenomenal. I, I made a video called Addicted to Jazzware World of Halo once. Pretty cool. Look at that packaging, man. Neon Superfly with that Comic-Con stamp. Mm. It's just a crate. It's, uh, mm. I, I, I think that's some of the cleanest packaging I have ever seen. Congrats to whoever designed that spot on job. Yeah, it looks like some kind of service elevator or maybe a shipping container. It's really dope. And when it opens up, it's got that warthog inside. Look at that detail of the Spartan Selux. I think the only time we've ever got a Spartan Selux was with the Gun Goose. Maybe there's been another, but I remember that one fondly. It's a great set. That Selux looks dope. And also at the same time, Jazzware are doing this. Mega has the multiplayer uh, Mayhem set that's coming out as the Mega Halo fan vote that we voted on several rounds for this year. So crazy that both companies are planning Superfly, Neon Superfly. It kind of makes me feel that like maybe 343 shared some data with them and polls clearly indicated that Neon Superfly was the most popular design for Halo fans. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the most popular um, Warthog in the game. But what does that DLC come with? Like, is it just gonna be the Neon Superfly coating again? Cause we've already got it in the game. It's been on sale a few times. Maybe it's something new. Maybe it's a weapon in Neon Superfly. I'm really excited to find out. Look at that final image, crisp. Crisp, look at that. That's some excellent toy photography there. And I wanna shake the hands of whoever did that. Like, good team effort from Jazzware here. You've really got my attention. This is amazing. Uh, just a quick news update today, guys. And I can't wait to see the comments speculating on why I'm packing my bags right now. But yeah, um, more news coming soon. It might be today, it might be tomorrow, but just be patient. And um, once a lot of this other news drops that I've been super cryptic about, the payoff will be exceptional. And of course, the fact that we're getting a Call of Duty figure is really dope because we've never had them before and it's clearly the start of a new line. I'd seen some leaks before, but honestly, good for Jazzware. If they have both the Halo and the Call of Duty line, that is a really cool, secured place in this, like, in the the stratosphere of adult collector toys. And also I've heard that this uh, new this new Warthog will be limited to a thousand units. Thanks for tuning in. This was another video with The Domain. Shout out to Jazzware, World of Halo, Spartan Collection, and The Domain is signing off.